Hey guys, today's video is about why I am a vegan, and I know this can be a really controversial topic, but for me it's just the right way to eat. Um, there are three reasons why I'm a vegan, and the first one that got me really started was the animals. When I was eight, I just decided I did not want to eat animals. I did not like the idea of them dying so that I had food, so luckily my parents supported me in being a vegetarian. I didn't realize how harmful the dairy industry is to animals, so I thought I was doing my part by just not eating actual animals. So I was a vegetarian my whole life since then, and then two years ago I became a vegan once I learned everything about the dairy industry, I was just crushed and um, just was done, just instantly went vegan. So I think the thing for me that just, oh, so there's so much of it that's so sad, but for me the thing that's the saddest is cows are forced to be pregnant and then they give birth to their calves and then they're taken away right away so that they can give the milk that's supposed to be for their baby calves to humans, which our bodies don't even digest milk well because it's meant for cows who have four stomachs and not humans. So that is so sad to me. So the ba their babies are taken away, everyone's crying, the baby's crying for the mom, the mom's crying for the baby. Most of the time the baby, if it's a male, ends up in the veal industry, stuck in a tiny little cage. And if it's a female, then ends up in the, as a dairy cow and forced impregnations. Like you don't make milk unless you are lactating and you don't lactate unless you were just pregnant. So I don't think people don't think about that. It's a cycle. They're constantly being impregnated, nursed, impregnated, nursed, just wearing their bodies out until they're not good anymore and then they slaughter them. It's really sad. I just, I never thought about it. I was just like, oh, it's milk. It comes from a cow. I never really was like a big milk drinker. I've always thought milk was gross, but I mean, I would eat it in foods. So anyway, the animals just, I don't even want to get into all the animal cruelty if you're interested. Just look up factory farming. There's a lot of documentaries. It's heart-wrenching to me. I just, I think that there are so many ways that you can eat extremely cleanly and healthily that don't involve hurting anybody. It's all about money and all kinds of crazy corruption that I just, I don't want to be part of it. The second reason that I am a vegan is environmentalism. If you watch my channel, you know I'm really passionate about the environment and doing my part and learning ways to just be better for the environment. If we keep using the land the way we're using it, there won't be a world left. Like, humans are destroying things. We just act like this place is going to last forever, but we're using all of our resources up. And meat and dairy use a ton of resources. The amount of water and food to grow crops to then feed the animals to then kill the animals to eat them versus like using that water to grow crops that human could act, humans could actually eat. It's so inefficient. So like the amount of energy it takes to make vegetables and fruits and grains and stuff is just nothing compared to the amount of energy it takes just to make one single hamburger patty. So just water, land use, they're tearing down rainforests to make more land, to make more animals, you know, to make more animals, but to like make more meat with the animals. It's just this crazy cycle that I also didn't even really think about or realize um, until I became a vegan. The more I researched, the more I learned, and it's just, it's crazy to me. Like once you learn stuff, it really just, it becomes crazy. And I know it's backwards. A lot of people think vegans are crazy and extreme and I get that, but once you research things and enlighten yourself, then you kind of see things differently. I think most people do anyway. And then the third reason is health. Um, being a vegan, if you eat a well-balanced diet, um, is scientifically proven to be extremely healthy. It can reverse damages done by eating too much cholesterol from animal foods. You can reverse certain, you know, heart diseases and other things by switching to a plant-based diet and just the way I feel when I eliminated a dairy from my diet has been so different. I used to have a runny nose all the time and I never thought about it. I just always blew my nose and once I became a vegan I was like I'm not blowing my nose all the time anymore like hmm, that's dairy that's strange like just things like that I've felt like I've had more energy. I expected to kind of go through some weird like energy lapses or stomach problems or something when I transitioned a couple years ago and it was so easy. There is a vegan substitute for everything. Like 
switching to a vegan diet is just about educating yourself on balanced diets and things that you can replace and foods that you enjoy that you can eat. But it's not um, this like crazy deprivation thing where like vegans can't eat anything. There's nothing for you to eat. Like there's a ton of things I can eat and a ton of people eat a lot of vegan food without even realizing it. Like hummus is vegan. Most breads are vegan. Most pastas are vegan. Like those are pretty standard foods that a lot of people eat. Fruits and vegetables are obviously vegan. A lot of people eat those. So anyway, um, I know there might be some like strange comments on here. I'm not trying to change your mind if you're not a vegan. I'm just telling why I'm a vegan, why it's the right choice for me, and um, just some reasons to consider if you're thinking of making that transition for yourself. I'm planning on coming out with another video about ways to transition into a vegan diet if you're interested in that. So um, stay posted and thank you for watching. Oh, and um, also I'm raising both of my kids vegan. So um, that can be done in a healthy way too. So anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.